Hello and welcome to Plants by Kim. If you are new here, welcome and thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, we are putting the spring spread together in my catch-all. And if you want to see how this one turns out, keep watching. <music> Right, so we are going to be bringing in the following, the seasonal mega book that I got from the Happy Planner, my last big purchase from them. And then these stickers that I got from my uh, Patreon uh, that I'm in, that is with Michelle from Plan On It. And then these are some um, things that I made on Cricut. And then I'm going to be using Mojo Jojo Plans, her pastel boxes, and summer boxes to put the spread together. Um, my whole idea was spring has sprung, so I wanted to add a little whimsy with some florals. Um, that's where my thought process went for this one, so let's just dive on in. Um, I'm going to go in here first because I found a side sticker, but I have to find it. Yeah, I'm gonna use this one for now. I'm also gonna come back in for that bike. So there are a few stickers in here. And this one, I just wanted to put over here in my sidebar as a pretty sticker to kind of give this whole spread kind of a spring vibe to it. All right, and then I'm gonna come in and just put down my spring has sprung. And this one, I'm gonna put in the middle of my paper. Now, I did use um, regular white paper, and the reason why I did that is because I didn't want to have to deal with like covering up the lines or having the lines come through. So I just used white paper this go around. And then I wanna put the sprung over here, but I need to match this up pretty good. So. And then this sticker got a little delicate because for some reason when I went to cover the holes in it and if you guys use your Cricut you'll know what I'm talking about like the holes so like your P it would have the cut out where the P is but if you don't want to deal with that then you have to go in and cover that up and I did that to my U but for some reason it didn't take so not quite sure what happened there but it works it's all right and I wasn't going to go in and make another one just for that. Okay, I'm going to put my has here. Spring has sprung. Okay. And then I do have like my little box that that's in. So I made these springs. And I hope I didn't make them too big, honestly, because I thought... These would be so cute just to kind of come out of this box here and there. So we've got one, two, three, and then I'll put this one going this way, four. And um, I also wanted to bring in these really pretty florals and just kind of maybe go around the outside of the box. Um, I was thinking about going on the inside, but then I didn't know how my springs would look um, on the outside of the box by itself. So yeah, I'm thinking, um, and maybe I'll do kind of both. So I don't know, let's just see where this one takes us. All right, but for now, just gonna start cutting these stickers. 
and placing them down. I'm going to get my tweezers. And I know Michelle uses a pretty good paper that where these can come up, but I'm still going to try to just to to stick them just a little bit, just in case I need to move these. Okay, let's just see how this would look on the outside. There's that in here. All right, there's that. Now I'm gonna go in here and do another one. So it's a little bit bigger. And I want to make sure sometimes I've got the green on um, all of the florals. just a little bit of this to go right here. Not too big of a piece though. Just to fill in this little spot right there. And I'll see how I feel about that. I may need to cut that down a little bit, but for now, we'll just leave it there. Um, and then also, let's think about just bringing this little green piece over here. just to put a little color over there. And then likewise, like maybe right here, just put a couple of these here. I don't wanna cut all of my sticker though, so. And then I was trying to see what angle would, would look the, the best, which I like this angle here, so. I'll just cut this one straight, but not a lot. I don't want a lot cut off of this one. To just start filling in where needed here. Okay, that's pretty. And then there's this one. This one's a different sticker. We haven't used this one yet. It's got those little ones coming off of it. That's pretty. Um, how many of these do I have? I have two of these, three of these, and then another big one. Oh, I wish I would have used it over here. In fact, I'm going to take this one up if I can. If not, undo is going to come out. Yeah, I hear the paper starting to tear. I just, I um, wanted, now that I saw this, this sticker here that had these extra little flowers coming off of it, I wanted it to go over here on this side of my page. All right, a little bit of tear there. I'll get as close as I can and just cut that off. And then, Let's see, I want this one to come out over here. So I think I'll just do this. About ripped it, oh my gosh. 
the Kimberly be more delicate. Yes, so um, if you are wanting to become a patron of Michelle's, so you can get, you know, things like this, which is really nice. Um, yeah, just go to her, you go to, just go to patron.com and hit and put Michelle, or actually put plan on it in there. And it'll pop up and it'll tell you what tiers she has left that's available to uh, be a part of. Um, the more money you pay, the higher the tier that um, it, so the more money you pay, the more that comes in that tier. And I will tell you that just from experience, the higher tiers always go first. So if you're wanting like special spreads that, that she makes, you have to be in that higher tier. But then you, once it's full, it's full. And then um, you just have to wait for somebody to, to leave so that you can come in and... Um, take a spot in that tier. And I'm happy with my tier that I'm in. As long as I'm um, in the Zoom calls and the live plan with me's, I'm good. Those are the fun things. That's why I joined. I joined because um, well, I just felt like I was wanting some interaction with some other ladies. It's like all my friends are moving away. And, um, yeah, I just don't have any interaction with any ladies. And honestly, that's why I joined because I wanted to make some friends, you know? Oh my gosh, I love I love this spread, y'all. This is really nice. I'm going to pop a, a, a Tylenol here real quick. I don't know about you guys, but um, our weather here has just been so up and down and crazy. And um, today I woke up and my neck is just, uh, I don't know, there's a lot of pressure. And um, I woke up and my head was just, wonka, wonka. you know, like when you can feel the the blood pulsing through your veins in your brain. That's kind of how it felt this morning. And um, I was like, oh, I'm going to be needing to take me some Tylenol. So I took one, just needed to take another. Okay, now I've got one here that has the extra flowers. I've got one over here that has the extra flowers. So I'm going to go ahead and put this scrap over here. And it's not a scrap, you guys. This is not a scrap. Half of the flower is not a scrap. But we're going to put that one there. And I still have all these. So this these flowers are going a lot further than I thought they were going to go. I was going to I was kind of worrying that I wasn't going to have enough. All right, I did want to kind of come over here and put some over here as well. I think I'll put this one right, maybe in the middle. I don't want to get too crazy over there. These flowers are so pretty. I just, I love the, the florals that have such detail to them. And to me, these do. These have such detail. Like you can see every little spike on these leaves. Okay, there's that. And then, um, okay, I don't think I want one that big and I'll show you why. So this is what like if I put this down, this is what, how big it would be, like almost the same size as that. And I don't want that. Um, so let me grab this other one that I have and see what the difference is on it. I might even need a smaller one. 
Um, yeah, I feel like I even need a bit of a smaller one. So I'm going to need to cut one up. I'm going to come in here and cut this one. And let's see. Seriously, sorry, I went the wrong way. I want this one to only be like this big. Okay, so. We'll put this one down here. There we go. All right. And I'm going to come in here for a leaf. And we'll have this one going this way. So it means I need to just kind of, I think, go straight across. Oh, no, I didn't. I needed to go this way. Shoot. See? Y'all, sometimes I am not very good at that angling business. All right, so I have to come up here because this is where I cut. Yeah, if y'all have a hard time like me in cutting your angles, okay. And I'm only talking about miter saws because um, I'm wanting to do some updates to my home. So the house that we bought, it's just strictly builder grade. There's no bells and whistles to it, except for in the basement. They did do a, a built-in down there um, where the TVs go. The TV goes, so there's built-in bookshelves. But upstairs, it's pretty, it's pretty standard. Um, all right, I need some florals over here on this side. And... Um, I'm kind of wanting to give it some personality, you know? So I went looking, I went pricing. Like I'm wanting to change out my sliding doors for French doors. I think that would elevate the look. And um, plus, guys, I hate sliding doors. So I'm wanting to put my uh, French doors up. And um, these, you don't throw away. These little pieces, no, no. That is a no, no. Because you can come in and you can fill in your little areas. Like that little green one, I'm gonna put right down there. And I know that's tiny, but you guys, it makes a big difference. It really does. So I'm just going to come down here and put this down right there, except I want this one. Here, let me get rid of this and this one. But I want to lift this up. There's a little bit of an overhang here, which is totally white. So I'm going to get rid of this little piece. And then I'm going to take off a little bit of this pink. And I know we're talking about little minuscule pieces, but it does, it makes a huge difference sometimes. And we've been wanting to put a front, a uh, screen door on the front of our, of our uh, house. And the reason why is because 
the way that our house sits, like we get, a, we can we can sometimes get a good cross breeze, but on days where there's no wind at all, there's no way for air to circulate through the house. And so if we have a door open on the other side of the house and then we have the back door screen open, and when I say the back door, I mean the sliders, um, then that can create a cross breeze and um, kind of just helps with the whole air circulation thing. Okay, I wanted to bring this bike in that was over here, but y'all, I don't know if I'm gonna have room. Let's see. I wanted to bring this one in. Oh my gosh, I thought this was so pretty. I'm just de-sticking, that's all I'm doing. Just using my skin cells to de-stick. Yeah, those floors are gonna go up into those. I really wanted it on this side. Actually, why don't I come down? We can do that. Oh, and that's the 25th and the 26th. Okay, well, we're having a family day here. Actually, family day is on Sunday, and family day is because um, the following Wednesday, my daughter's leaving to the UK. So we're having a nice big uh, family, and when I say family, I mean like cousins are coming over and that kind of thing. So um, this is everyone's last time to see her for, it's gonna be a little while, I ain't gonna lie. I was pricing up how much it would cost us to go over there, and y'all, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a chunk of change. And when I say a chunk of change, I mean like at the minimum, like $10,000. Because when you figure airfare for two people, plus um, accommodations for two weeks. Because if I go over there and I'm spending, um, you know, $2,000 uh, a plane ticket for one person, I ain't staying for one week. Um, I'm gonna stay for two weeks. And then you're talking about going to different places over there and yeah. And then of course, you've got transportation you gotta take into consideration. And then you have the exchange rate. So um, the US dollar is less than the uh, pound right now. And so whenever you switch your money over, what well, you're losing money. So. You gotta take that into consideration as well. Um, but I am looking forward to going. It's just gonna be a few years before we can make that journey. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to go over there actually. I've always wanted to visit. Always wanted to go to uh, London and Paris. Those are my two places I've always wanted to go. So I'm gonna make that happen. But I've uh, gotten off on a different subject, haven't I? Oh. Anyway, that's what's going on Sunday. So I wanna put a sticker on Saturday, Sunday over here for sure. And let's go ahead and put some stickers down. Okay, so we're gonna be using uh, this pink. I thought this pink here would look really pretty and bring out the pink that's in the florals. And I was wanting to use um, the green in here. Where are you at? Right here. I thought that this green would look really pretty as well. Actually, no, that's not the green I was wanting to use. Ah, I was wanting to use the green out of here, which is why I have this book. It's a little bit brighter is almost too pastel -y. I wanted to use that more brighter green. Yep, that's what we're doing. Okay, so let me get my shake out of the way before I spill it. I've got one more pill to take. I, I take all my morning pills with my um, shake, and I, I don't know if you guys can see this if I bring this under here, but this is a Premier Protein Shake. 
It's got 30 grams of protein. Caffeine is equivalent to one cup of coffee and it's got one gram of sugar. It's only got 160 calories in it. So this 24 vitamins and minerals. So this is good um, for me because I had bariatric weight surgery um, almost five years ago. And so I drink one of these every day and sometimes I'll have one for lunch so that I get my proteins in. I have to get at least um, 60 grams of protein in, if not more, a day. So if I drink two of these, I know I'm getting my protein. Um, but anyway, um, I've got one more pill to take, and that's my calcium. So I'm going to put that off to the side so I don't spill it. That's all I need to do is be spilling up my stuff all over my pretty spread. Okay, I'm back. Don't know for how long, but we're back. All right. And when I say I don't know for how long, it's because Miss Thang is outside still. All right, I was kind of wanting to bring a sticker up here and put down. So let's see here. Don't know if I can get this up without it ripping because that's my paper. And I got the middle of the road paper, so it doesn't come up too easy, but it, it doesn't like not come up at all. All right, that needs to come up a little bit more. Come on, Nellie. And there's Miss Thing. Okay, well, got one sticker put down. All right. Let's see. Um, we've got, I mainly want this for Sunday because Saturday is just going to be a day that I'm preparing for um, Sunday. Um, and then Friday, um, we have a... <laughs> Oh, when I tell you guys this, you're going to go, what the heck? Um, yeah, we have a bridal dress fitting on the 24th. Yes, my other daughter, I think I can say this now since the invitations have been bought and the caterer has been confirmed and uh, we're on the books. Um, my daughter's getting married in May, y'all. Yes. Welcome to my life, y'all. Welcome to my life. <laughs> y'all, I knew this was going to be a year, but... So my daughter has been kicking around the idea of getting married, and she has been all over the place as far as where and how... And they have made so many different plans only to nix them and go, oh, maybe we'll get married next year. Yeah, we'll get married next year. Then it came to this year. Then it went back to next year. And then, um, yeah, she found out last week that she's expecting her second child. And I said, first of all, Y'all done this thing backwards, and so um, just just get married. Some, how, however, just get married. You got baby number two on the way. Don't be spending a lot of money on a wedding. You're going to need it for the kids. So that's what they're doing. <laughs> they're just going to get married. Um, in my backyard. We're going to have a backyard wedding, guys. I think it's going to be really cute, too, actually. But anyway, yeah. Welcome to my world. This year, it's um, kind of cray-cray. not going to lie. We're into March. We're into March. Pretty well into March. And, uh, yeah, I've got one daughter leaving. One getting married. We'll have a baby this year. Ah. I'm still, 
I'm still finalizing things from my mom and her, <laughs> her estate. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like, oh, here comes in something else in the mail. And I'm just like, oh, when is the post office going to stop delivering? I mean, for real, right? I wanted this one to go like right here if I can get the stupid thing straight. All right, so I've got two stickers down here at the bottom, and now we're going to come up here, and I'm gonna put, um, yeah, I'm gonna put a green sticker. Let's see, we're just gonna put this one here. It's just right in there, like so. So I'll put this one up here. All right. And then, do I have any? Don't think I do. No, there are no checklists in this book. I will have to find some bullet points to go here. Uh, no judgment, no judgment, no judgment. This book's a mess, y'all. I really don't like the black. Mm. Oh, that is so harsh. Okay, but you know what? That's what it is for now. Um, I have an idea to bring some more black onto the page, so then that's not so out there. But since I put some bullet points there, I feel like I almost need some over here, so we'll put some on Wednesday. So we'll do this one, and let me do another one. So yeah, um, I'm gonna put up the screen door and I got a quote on that. And you guys, it really isn't as expensive as I thought it was gonna be for what I was wanting. And I wanna say, let me look here. Yeah, it's just like right under $600. Um, that is for a glass front door with a retractable screen and the glass has, is beveled. So it's more upscale. And then, um, of course, you have the um, door handle. That's not part of the screen door. That's separate, which is just crazy. You think it would be part. But anyway, at least we get to pick out our own. I'm doing it that way. And they say that if you put a screen door on your front door, and I should say a storm door, because that's what it is. It's a storm door. Um, that you will cut down on your bills, your heating and your electricity. You'll cut down on those because um, they said you'll be surprised at how much air goes in between your door and you don't realize it because you think it's a tight fit, but it's not as tight as you think. So yeah, we're gonna get around to doing that. All right, so Monday we have, my husband has an appointment here. that one there and then um oh let's see here let me kick around the idea of putting another oh I just about knocked my shake oh y'all my disc is so small my area I should say that I have to work with is small okay so there's one two oh and there if I do that that's taken away that one flower that I really Put that down for oh and i didn't do stick this one either oh holy cow kim okay a 
little undo here because I ain't gonna fight with that to bring it up. Okay. And then I'll come down here on Tuesday and put a sticker down here. Yeah, because these are two Monday stickers. I know it's going into Tuesday, but I didn't like the way it was looking otherwise. Tuesday. All right. I think that's all the stickers I'm going to put down. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, I guess I could put another sticker on Saturday just because I know I've got to make my lasagnas and stuff there. And maybe we'll just do this. Okay, that works for me. All right, and oh yes, I wanted to put another sticker over here. thinking about bringing in this cute little watering can so I was thinking about sticking this up here on top of this and just cutting that off but I don't know I feel like that's just maybe too big of a sticker to go there so how about we rethink that idea all right so definitely definitely I'm going to bring in these two uh, gardening I say definitely, but let me see how this is going to look. There's some thyme and then some basil. Your big one always goes to the left because it's the way your eyes read things. Okay, that looks cute over there. So I've got my seeds, I've got my basil here. Although I really want this watering can. I just think I need it to kind of complete the whole spring thing. I could just fill this in here. Maybe. That's cute. Okay, now, um, I do think it would be cute to bring in a couple of these little butterflies though. Let me see. I know there's some orange in them, um, but I don't know. Kind of adds a little bit of a little bit of interest to my paper, I think. And then this little butterfly, he's just kind of sitting here on this floral. Do I like it there? What if I were to move it up here on this one just to take up some of that space? That looks cute. Oh gosh, I'm liking this. All right, um, how about we use a couple more of those? Well, how about we use this one? There's a little bit bigger one in here. Didn't see that on that other page. 
Let's see. That one's kind of close to that one, but it works there. I feel like a lot better than here. Or, oh, how about we take this one over here? And then this little guy can just be right here. And that's the same one, isn't it? It's all good. It's fine. Okay. Hmm. I just, I'm going to be honest with you. I am not feeling the black. I'm moving this down because I think I'm going to need to put it some more on here because I got my chores to do. I was going to do chores on Thursday, but Thursday's too filled up. So I'm going to bring my chores in here. Try to lift this one up. To bring this one here and then down. Okay. And then we'll start that one there. I guess I should have left that one there. This is the one. Oh crap. I should have moved this one. Here. Wow. Okay, I am just not liking those. Maybe that's the problem. Taking them off, which means that I'm gonna lose that black line. So I'll just come in here with some glue and try to glue this one down. Just so I don't lose any more of that line. And I think what I might do instead, you guys, is the, in this spring book, there are some checklists back here. And I could even put some of these in as well. But I don't know. I think that might be a little overkill. So I'm just going to look for these checklists, which I know is right back here because I saw them. There. And I'm gonna go for this color here. And then I'm going to come up here and do the same with this one. There we go. We'll do that. Okay. And let's come back in, I think, with a few more of these. And let's see what this will look like. I'm not done with my headers. All right. I actually wrote this one out to put inside my box. And I'm just going to cut the sides off of this one. 
so that might fit a little bit better. So I'll put my pay bills here for the bills that I pay. Uh, the rest of them are automatically deducted. Okay, and then I made this little special memories to come over here, and I'm just gonna put this one right here. And let's see, um, appointment. Put this one over here. this today there. And this little to do over here. I think I'm going to take this last floral and just put this one right up here just to take up a little bit of space. Yeah, this day up here was looking a little bare. So what does that look like? Puts a little something in there, doesn't it? All right, guys, that is going to do it for this plan with me. Um, I think this turned out really, really cute. Let's just uh, get this put in my book. How about we do that? Let's see what this looks like. Oops, always do that. Make sure we don't have any holes covered up. Right, there she is. I just wanna say thanks for hanging out with me today. I sure hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, make sure you like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.